Welcome to our development diaries, a series of videos from playing with fire simulations. These will show the development of our content within VBS2. This week's development video is again relating to vehicles, focusing this time on damage. So as to get us in the testing mood, we've now got a crash test dummy. Before we imported further vehicles into VBS2, we wanted to understand what damage modelling was available. In this first test, we see a standard VBS2 pickup truck, which will be driven into a concrete block. Let's see that from another angle. As the standard vehicle hits the block, we can see that the hull has darkened and we've lost the windscreen. This is the only visual representation of the damage. Within our training simulator, we wanted our vehicles to show more accurate damage. So here's the same test again, only this time using a modified playing with fire simulations vehicle. In this test vehicle, it is configured with six zones which can be deformed. So let's see what happens when our vehicle hits the concrete block. And let's see that from two other angles. And of course in slow motion. As you can see in a modified vehicle, the whole front section on the left hand side has been deformed after the impact. Let's see another crash, this time a full frontal impact. As this was a frontal impact, you can see now that both sides of the vehicle have been deformed. Let's move on to another example, this time on the road. Here is an example of a rear impact. The first vehicle has received damage to the rear and the second vehicle has received damage to its front. Let's move on. Here we have an example of a side on impact. Note that we've got damage on both vehicles this time and if we look inside the first vehicle we can see that the cabin has been deformed. Within the training simulator you can see that this would be a good example of when all three emergency services would be required. I hope you found this concept interesting and stay tuned for our next development diary. If you're interested in us creating content for your organisation, please do contact us.